And hello everybody, welcome to the next video here on uh, Let's Play Your Truck 2. And you can see I'm already, I'm at the beginning here, waiting to start my next job, which is taking uh, frozen food from Genevieve, Gen Genevieve, Genevieve to Zurich. I'm going to completely ruin this, aren't I? Um, got, currently got 6,000, almost 7,000 euros, which is awesome. And you're driving a Volvo, so, yeah, it's okay, we'll, we'll get there. We got mail, which still stopped here. Let's see what it says. Uh, bank. Um, and how much are they willing to give me? A hundred thousand? Might be doable. Uh, we talking to a fifty thousand. Well, hundred and... Brought up a hundred thousand. I'll wait on that a little bit. I'll keep driving and I'll get back to that. Maybe in the next, you know... Okay, next, you know, drive. So we got a three-hour drive, which is not going to be three hours. And I'm going to... Oops, miss that completely. Awesomeness. So, anyway, where was I before? Alright, so... I'll be doing several episodes, you know, seeing how it's gonna work and let's play. If you're gonna be like it or not, we'll see. If you do, great. If not, I yeah, get on to other projects. I just have not really felt like, you know, Skyrim at all. You know, I mean, I'm just, I got done playing um, the Dragonborn DLC and then after that I just could not just look at it. I mean, just, ugh. I've been playing like, the Tale of Two Wastelands lately, which is making things a lot more fascinating. And I've gotten a lot more modding. I've got, you know, my own mods out now. Um, so the Tale of Two Wastelands adds in uh, Fallout 3 to Fallout New Vegas. You have everything from both games available to you. Kind of nice. So I've done one mod so far where I've added a uh, Gunrunner vendor to the DC Wasteland. Just so I don't have to go clear to New Vegas just for a shopping trip. <laughs> You know, um, a nice little mod there, you know, does the job. Need to go out in the outer lane here. I uh, should have used my turn signal, but eh, sorry about that. They'll be behind me, so no harm, no foul. Come on, boy. Gas pedal, gas pedal, you know. Let's pedal on the right. Jeez, slow people. That's my biggest nemesis in this game, slow people and oncoming traffic. Okay, 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 let's go with one of these. And away we go, off on the freeway. The new DLC, that's interesting, but kind of annoying because most of the roads back there in the new eastern areas is two lane highways. That's how they up the difficulty. Because two lane highways are much harder to drive than a freeway. And I got new mail. Well, I'll have to wait till I get done, get done in, in my trip here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Three, four, okay. Jump to 54, it's more like this kind of coast. Put on the auto, you know, the cruise control, they say. The autopilot, uh, that's an airplane. Uh, I mean, cruise, cruise control, and keep it at 54. I know, I was getting in a lot of trouble with freaking, you know, speed limit shit and crap, because it goes up and down like a, well, roller coaster. Well, the other thing I could say too, but eh, I won't go there. Okay. <clears throat> Especially tunnels and like that, but. You'll see a lot more, sp more spectacular accidents happen on the two-lane highways. I'm trying to bypass, go around a slow truck, and oncoming traffic disappears. I'm like halfway around them, like really. So either I gotta slam on the brakes and tuck in behind them again, or which is not good for a truck because you can jackknife easily, if you can in real life, or you just kind of plow into the son of a bitch coming at you. So. <laughs> 
by the time I was so frustrated, I'd like screw it and plow into the idiot coming at me. It's like, your fault game for me, for you know, rizzing in a for spawning oncoming traffic, you know. Yeah, it, it resets your sleep timer between good. <sighs> nice, nice long relaxing drive here. Got plenty of fuel. Half a tank, though. So got plenty of fuel. As I said before, got some really lovely. You know, I, mean, I wouldn't mind living out here in Europe. You know, here in Europe, I mean, hell, I mean, you guys are more open-minded about things than here in America. Though the whole hairy thing, the kind of you know, women being hairy, kind of throws me off. You know, like really, I'm not really the hairy woman. <laughs> These keys don't need to be trimmed down there, you know? But I think my friend of mine claims he saw a European at the beach, a European woman. It looked like he had a beard growing out of her bikini. That's how long it was down there. It's like, really? Wow. I mean, I don't expect you to be shaved down there. No, that's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I understand. But these keys don't need to be trimmed, you know? I mean, jeez. Kind of, you know, my American sensibilities are kind of revolted by the idea of that hair that long down there. Uh, but yeah, living out here though would be a beautiful, a beautiful country, relaxing. You know, government's not so much better, but you know, then again, what government is better? You know, <coughs> I mean, presently at this current time of recording this. You know, in the future would be different, of course, but at the time of recording is now, I mean, our president, Obama, shut down the whole government just to enforce his, you know, health care through. But it's been a kind of long, drawn-out fight between him and the Republicans anyway. I still say they should, you know, work together, make things better, and not fight each other like this. It just hurts everybody when they conflict each other. Awesome. Oh yeah, these first jobs are gonna be a bit boring because they're short. The longer, just longer drives will be, or I'll get in more trouble. <laughs> Highways where the idiots going 10 miles an hour. I'm like, seriously? You can try faster than that. I mean, I can take a curb of 45, no big deal. No, I'm drifting. You know, they're doing it at 20. I'm like, shit. Are you that bad, bad of a driver? I mean, I can't drive at all, and I can drive better at this. <laughs> uh. Uh, Oh, and you know why they make roads curved like this? Some of you probably do, some of you don't. But, uh, you know, so the, right, the long straight roads that people tend to fall asleep on. So, make a curve like this, and you gotta force yourself to stay awake and uh, pay attention. It's kinda interesting how, you know, the science behind these things. But again, again I do like science, so I'm kinda a geek in that respect. Zurich, okay. <laughs> it's 
speaking of Italy, what did what did the elephant what did the grape say when the elephant sat on it? Nothing. Let all its little wine. <laughs> I know, bad jokes. Anyway, kid jokes basically. Uh we can do that too, pass the time, tell jokes and shit. Shoot the shoot the breeze and crap. Right now it's not be too exciting. I'll be doing a run with my other character, like the uh, test character, I can, I can do drops from <laughs> England clear into Hungary. Those are kind of really long drops, you know. Give me a lot more accidents, <laughs> a lot more fun. For you, that is not for me. Yeah, coming off next road, alright. Getting off uh, toward Zurich, okay. I'm going anyway, so. <laughs> Osfart, as Baka would say. Saying it's been kind of hard, to, been hard to drive. I tend to agree with the new updates. I've been getting a lot less excellent and a lot more satisfactory or you know good work. Sometimes getting things like you know <laughs> tolerable or damage. At like one time it was so horribly damaged. Was like, but that was a spectacular accident I had though. <laughs> what happened? I was trying going, going around this idiot slowpoke because like I told you before I could do that and I come up to his four way you know, interchange middle of freaking no place God only knows why and um thought oh I can go through no big deal then the car appeared out of nowhere crossing in front of me clipped him went flying off the road and it was, it was worse than a tree yeah I had to kind of baby the thing off to the next Town to get a fix, cost me an arm and a leg, you know. <laughs> uh, I hate when things do that. Let's see, I'm gonna go left here. Also, had a, I sent a, a sign flying one time so hard that it was actually spinning like a top. Green, good. I think in, in America, if making a right hand turn and the uh, lane is clear traffic coming toward us we can make a right on a red light here you can't make a no, no right on a left and red light at all Oop, sorry about that boy he didn't see coming and yeah here you try to right uh, turn on a right turn on a red light you gotta be oop, oh crap I didn't see that Back to Taco Bell again. With what this time, I wonder. Let's see. Seven fifteen. Okay. Just curious. TNT. Well, TNT, but anyway, it's the company name. So, what do we got here? Excellent, again. Drove 146 miles, 3 and 3 hours. 116 meters of fuel. Got 236.63 experience. Awesome. Another 3,000 grand, 3,000 euros. So now, level 1. Okay, so. <clears throat> Fragile, high value, long distance. I do want to get my um, ADRs both long distance. I think I'm going to go with long distance though. This time. Yeah, I'm going to go with long distance, going to drive a little further, not with 
next time I probably go for like an ADR and then who knows what after that. So let's see, it's been about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna let you guys go here after I get another job. And then I'll, s I'll save up and go on the next one. So let's see, we're in Zurich. Oh, we went right through Bern, didn't we? Huh, didn't notice that. So from Zurich, what do we got? Back to Genevieve with some dry milk. Genevieve Innsbruck. Austria. Driving what? An Iveco? Volvo, Majestic, Scania. We're gonna go down to France. I'm gonna Iveco this time, but in Austria with some, uh, uh, plastic granules. Hope that's not gonna be too bad. So I'm gonna let you guys go right here. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a great day, and take care.